God save you. What can I do for you? So, what are you scheming up this time? Well, we've got this idea. You might have heard there's coin coming to the Tarnberg Quarry to pay the workers their overdue wages. Well, I overheard some talk about it. They owe them for a quarter of a year. And there's a lot of quarrymen in that quarry. But it's bound to be well guarded, isn't it? Maybe not, if we time it right. And why aren't we talking about it with Andrew? Andrew hasn't got the balls for it. He sent us to hell. He did? How come? I don't know. He just said he won't do it. Andrew's not interested. Is it that dangerous? Look, if I'm going to do this, I want to know everything. <sighs> it's close to Tarnberg. So if we mess something up, we could have problems. But what a pile of silver. I'm in. Wonderful. But before we get to work, we have to find out more. We are going to go and take a sly look at that quarry. Meanwhile, you go to Talmberg and find out when they're bringing the coin. Try to find out who's going to be guarding it. Even better, if you can make it so there's as few guards as possible, well, you know, I wouldn't be upset at all. God save you. What can I do for you? So how do I make sure they cut down the number of guards when they transport the money? <laughs> Easy. Make a right ruckus. A ruckus? Ruckus? Hubble. Oh, well. Bedlam. I mean, just give someone around Talmberg a punch in the mouth. Start a brawl. Or steal something valuable. And that'll help. Of course. The townsfolk will be furious. They'll start clamming for more guards in the town. Take my word for it. Nine times out of ten, punching someone in the gob is the best solution. Do you have any other ideas? Well, most guards, especially the ones in charge, are lazy fuckers. If you could figure out a way to get rid of their horses, I'd bet... At least a few of them won't go anywhere. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what a pleasure. I'm sure there's some other tricks you could try. But that's all I can think of. Thank you.
My humble greetings. How may I serve you? I'm carrying a message from Sir Radzik. He's asking about the patrols in the next few days around Skalitz. What? Why? All I know is, there's word that another enemy supply train is being sent into the region. I see. That's a nuisance. I need a watch company elsewhere. Where? Has there been more trouble? No, no, it's just that Sir Divish is going to send payment to the quarrymen. An entire company? <laughs> Are you expecting a robbery? Isn't protection against the humans more important? Well, maybe they can manage with a few less men. Come to see us. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. You look like you swallowed a wasp, Master Groom. What's going on? I should think so. I have three horses with a fucking colic. Well, that's not such a tragedy. You need to keep the horses warm and rub them down with straw, especially the belly and flanks. That'll help settle the stomach. Give them clean water, change the straw often and leave them enough room to roll around if they want to. And walk them round now and again, but let them go at their own pace. Don't push them. Keep that up for a week and they'll be good as gold. My word, I've been handling horses for years and I never heard about rubbing them with straw for colic. Thanks for the help. I'm known in all the stables around here and I'll be telling them about you too. The thing is, Sir Robard wants four horses for the train to the quarry and they won't be fit by then. Certainly not this one here. The quarry? What's going on there? I don't know, but a guarded train like that, they must be carrying something valuable. When do they need the horses? There's still some time. They're supposed to be there in five days at noon. Hmm. What about some help from someone else? You mean from that old hag who lives in the woods? I'm not so foolish as to believe in spells. It's not about spells. She can try to make a herbal concoction. I know something about herbs, and I'll make sure she doesn't put anything in it that would be bad for the horses. Hmm. All right, then. Let's see what the old hag comes up with. Are you serious? You wouldn't happen to know a remedy for horse colic? Of course. Who do you need it for? The groom at Townberg is having problems. That wretch! I won't move a finger for him. I'd rather poison those horses of his. 
Hmm. Since you mentioned poison, is there something you know of that would make horses really sick for a while? Nothing that might kill them, just make them useless for a few days and give the groom nightmares. Ha! <laughs> I'd never take you for the type. Of course there's something. Normal poison will do. But they have to be dosed gradually. Thanks. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? So, I'm here. Good. Do you know when they'll come? Aye, I know. In five days. They should be here at noon. We still have time. And do you know how many of them there'll be? There was meant to be an entire company keeping watch, but thanks to me, there won't be so many guards. Good work. Did you two find out anything? Nothing much here, but that doesn't mean we were idle while you were strolling around Tarnberg. I'm the one who has to shift his arse to find answers while you lot are roasting sausages over a campfire. As if the money wasn't worth it for you. Their chief is strict as hell. I don't reckon he'll reduce their shifts, even if the money does come. If the money does really come at noon, He'll store it somewhere, and let the guards from Tarnberg protect it. It'll probably be in that hut on the edge of the quarry. I don't reckon all the guards from Tarnberg will want to stand around there all day. If we get lucky, some of them will bugger off after a while. Aye. Seems likely. So, how do we go about it? We have to be patient. No shenanigans, even if we have the silver in our reach. Don't let your guard down. And then, we either charge them, or try to do it by stealth. All right. Now we'll just have to wait until they arrive. You gonna wait with us? No. I'll come back after they ride out. How are you, Henry? God save Henry.
I'm honored that you should come to me. I have something for your horses. Really? Give them this. It will definitely help. I hope it ain't from that hag in the forest. Ah, well. What the hell? Thanks, Henry. Here's something for your efforts. What is it? What the hell are you doing? Huh? Hey! Alarm! My God! Help! Here! Hey, you! Oh! Surrender! You've committed a crime and I'm arresting you. Enough! Please! You're brawling. As if there wasn't enough going on in this land. I've got to deal with brawls. You should have thought twice about what you're doing. That'll land you a fat fine. Enough. What impertinence is this? Do you really want me to lose my temper? But I was just... You... You misunderstood me. Uh, sorry. You can go. What's up? Shit yourself. God damn. Surrender my arse! 
I'll slay you, you fucker. Stop! On you. On at you. Think I'll let you off, do you? Ah. No, we finished this. Ah. I've heard reports about you picking fights with people, and we don't like that around here, my boy. It's definitely one country. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. Are you pulling my pizzle? Aye. Oh, right. Oh. Damn it. Here's your coin then. All right. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. Ah! Very well. Go. Get the fuck out of here, you shit. Damn! What is it? Be a bit more... I've heard reports about you picking fights with people. And we don't like that around here, my boy. This definitely won't come cheap. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. Look, I'll tell you the truth, but you mustn't tell anyone. My heart. Damn it. Here's your coin, then. You've purged yourself before the law. <coughs> uh, come and get it. Oh. Well. Get the right. fuck out of here, you You're about to go. But cross me again, and I won't be so merciful next time. For God's sake! They're brawling there! Do something! What, what the hell are you doing? Are you serious? You don't move a muscle! Surrender! Oh, shit. You're under arrest! Got you! And now I'll fix you good and proper! You'll soon learn what justice means. What? That brawling and all the rest, it means nothing to you? Really? Well, the law takes a different view. This definitely won't come cheap. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. I won't put up with any more of this. If that's how you... All right, here you are. You've paid for your... Surrender! You'll have to All ask right. for your law. What? It's no use trying to wiggle out of it. I won't fall for that. It's definitely won't come cheap. You'll learn crime doesn't pay. Hey, who's there? Hmm. This is surely no way to treat one of Sir Radzig's men. I dread to think what he'll do when he finds out. Ah, I didn't... I didn't know that. My apologies. Go ahead.
I'm honored that you should come to me. They're here. Let's do this. So how do we go about it? I might have an idea. You pair will be as much use as a glass hammer when it comes to sneaking. But do you think you could divert their attention? How? All you have to do is go at each other somewhere where they'll hear you. Hopefully one of the guards will go and see what's happening. Us? No one will believe that. <laughs> you two? You're at each other's throats all the time. You won't even have to pretend. If that's what you want. Me and Fritz will be having a fight not too far off. Just hope someone notices. You serious? Look here, you! Uh, uh, Weasley looking, Phil? <laughs> you twat! I. Uh, I fart in your general. Uh, I fart in your face! <laughs> your mother is. a hedgehog! And your father stinks like. like marigolds!
fucking hell? Christ, I'm still shaking. <laughs> the pair of you would jump at your own shadows. I do nothing. <laughs> Fuck off. You were shitting yourself. I could smell you a mile off. Me? No fucking way. I was just... <laughs> you won't talk your way out of this one. So show us the bloody money then. Here it is. Holy shit! A third of it is yours. Fuck yeah! First we get drunk out of our heads. Let Andrew see what he missed out on. What? Damn! What the hell? Jesus! That was fucking amazing! <laughs> what? You actually enjoyed it? Aye! Of course! This is how you make money. <laughs> You're fucking right. I knew you had it in you. So, show us the money. Here it is. I can't believe it. We're rich. <laughs> that we are. I'm going to spend a week in the bathhouse. Fuck it, a month. And every wench in the province will be in there with me. <laughs> <laughs>